So today I'm going to be shooting some long exposures on the Hasselblad 500CM with Cinestill uh, 800T. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to walk around this area and see what we can get. So let's go. this like the concrete right here um, with the wood texture on the building um, so I'm gonna try to get that um, and I also like the lines in this uh, in the concrete right here with the railing so yeah I'm just gonna set up for for the shot and see what we can get Maybe move back a bit it's kind of hard to see like what I'm actually framing but um, trying to get all the all the lines straight. Yeah, that's one thing about shooting long exposures at night. You can't really. It's kind of hard to see what I'm actually framing and if if everything is lining up exactly how you want it. But I guess you, you just gotta go with what you can see. But yeah, I'm really liking how this is looking right now. So um, right now um, I'm shooting f22 because I want everything in um, in focus. So. Yeah, and it's said to do a five second exposure. And because of film reciprocity, I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. But honestly, film is pretty flexible, so you don't need to be too worried about that. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take the shot right now. So let me take out the dark slide. And three, two, one. I think I found the next scene right here. Um, it's just this porch area with the one front light on. So um, yeah, I kind of like these type of shots. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it. Um, I'm shooting on F22 again, just, um, just so I can get that long exposure and because I also want everything in focus. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna focus and then take the shot right now. So for this next shot, um, I kind of like this entrance right here with the one window light on as well. So um, yeah, and then I also like the lines kind of like leading inside this doorway here, like right here. So I'm gonna try to get that. So yeah, let me just light meter. Ooh, that actually does look really nice. And then I'm shooting at 800 ISO, F22. And it's saying it's saying to do a 20 second exposure, but um, for the because of film reciprocity again, I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. But yeah, let's take the shot. All right, so now I'm gonna try to get like a more wider angle shot since the the ones I've made just now were like more detail shots. So I'm gonna try to get the whole curb in here with the street um, signs right there. And then I'm also gonna get this house with the two lights on. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it turns out good. the next day now and um, I found another location we're in a different area so I'm gonna try to get this shot right here um, we found this car right here it's like an old 
classic car with the tarp draped over it. So I'm gonna try to get that shot right now. It's looking pretty good from the, from the viewfinder. All right, so for that one, that one was more of like a wide angle shot. So now I'm gonna kind of get closer to the car and kind of do just like a down pointing shot right at the area that's like uh, kind of being shown right here. So um, let me just line that up right here. And I think with the red light, it really like, it really makes it work well with the yellow of the car. So it kind of contrasts color wise. All right, so for the next shot, um, I'm gonna get a picture of this kind of alleyway right here with the hanging lights. I'm gonna get my my filmer right now to go sit right there on the on the curb right here, looking towards the road. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get that shot and see how it turns out. All right, so for this shot, um, I kind of liked how it was more like a futuristic look. I'm trying to get the singular light going straight down from here. And then also the contrast with the steps right here, I really liked. It's kind of like a hard contrast between the light and the dark with the steps. So I kind of like that just all, going all the way down. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take the shot now and we'll see how it turns out. pointed out this uh, light right here and I actually ended up liking it so this is gonna be the final shot of the video um, yeah the, the light reflecting off the leaves kind of gives like a glowing kind of look so yeah I thought it'd be a nice shot and I like the sharp angles of the grass cut right here so yeah I'm just got this last shot and uh, yeah hopefully it turns out good All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you guys like the photos. And um, yeah, if you wanna see more photos from me, check out my Instagram. And uh, if you wanna see more videos with the Hasselblad or just more film photography videos in general, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, peace.